So now let's do nitration. Again, remind you what the reagents are. Nitric acid that actually provides us with the NO2 group and sulfuric acid that will be acting as a catalyst. Really unpleasant reaction conditions here. Conch nitric and conch sulfuric. Anyway, here's our concentrated sulfuric acid. I'm not going to get into what is the actual Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. There's a little discussion about that back in the uh, Molecular Structures 1 module, but it doesn't really matter how I draw the S and 3 of the oxygens because what's important is this fourth one up here where I've drawn the hydrogen. So the nitric acid comes in. Now, of course, you are told that nitric acid is a strong acid and sulfuric acid is a strong acid. And when you're thinking of these things in water, you tend to just apply the so-called leveling effect. They say, well, they're both strong. But sulfuric acid is actually stronger than nitric acid. So in this case, when you have sulfuric acid and nitric acid, the nitric acid acts as a base donates a couple of electrons to the hydrogen there, and then this H plus leaves the sulfuric acid onto the nitric acid, which is acting as a base. And so you get this equilibrium set up here. So here's the hydrogen sulfate anion that is the conjugate base of sulfuric acid. And here is this protonated nitric acid, the conjugate acid of nitric acid, which of course sounds exceedingly weird. Well, at this point, we have in this conjugate acid of nitric acid a fun situation because we've effectively got a water molecule bonded to an NO2 species. And water is an exceedingly good leaving group. We will touch on that or we will actually do more than touch on it when we get into alcohols. So what can happen now is that the NO2 can essentially say goodbye to the water. The oxygen takes the two electrons from this bond and substitutes them into that plus. So now we can just break this bond losing water and the nitrogen gets two electrons from its oxygen there. So we end up with the water, which is rather boring. And then this extremely important nitrosyl cation, NO2+, that you will see as you go through in several areas of chemistry. Right now, what's important for us is this is the electrophile for nitration. So here's benzene. There's the NO2+, plus. the standard mechanism, two electrons come from one of the double bonds to make a bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. I'm not going to worry about what happens to the structure of NO2. There's all kinds of playing around we can do with curly arrows, but I'm not going to inflict that on you right now. And we get our nice regular intermediate. Of course, one carbon has its original hydrogen and the NO2 group on it, and its adjacent carbon has a positive so first question answered, where does the E plus come from? It comes from, first of all, sulfuric acid, um, protonating a nitric acid, which then breaks apart to give you water and a nitrosyl cation. Now we have to think about how do we abstract that H plus? Well, of course, what we have floating around here is we have hydrogen sulfate. And hydrogen sulfate can come up and in our funny little world here, it can say hello to the hydrogen, grab the hydrogen, and then, of course, those two electrons from the carbon-hydrogen bond go to replenish the double bond there. So the two products we make, there is our nitrobenzene, okay? And then the other product is, well, we've got is hydrogen sulfate grabbing a hydrogen. When it does that, it makes sulfuric acid. And, of course, sulfuric acid was there at the start, it's there at the end. It is a catalyst because it got nicely involved in the reaction. Um, you'll also sometimes see this reaction written as it being this water molecule comes to grab the hydrogen. Well, of course, when you've got concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid, there's going to be an awful lot of H3O plus floating around, not a whole lot of water. Either way, it doesn't really matter. What's important is that the NO2 plus is the electrophile, very clear where that comes from. And then somehow or other, whether you draw it formally as the H2O grabs the H to make H3O plus, or whether you get it that the hydrogen sulfate grabs the hydrogen to give you back your sulfuric acid. Really, it's semantics. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. So nitration, the E plus, the electrophile, the all-important nitrosyl cation.